Hello, dear AI enthusiasts. Today, we're talking about an absolute sensation in the world of artificial intelligence because OpenAI has completely surprisingly released their latest Model O3 Mini. And what can I say? It's absolutely fantastic. But let's dive right into the details because what this model can do is really impressive. First, you need to know that O3 Mini is available to all users, even for free accounts, which represents a real revolution because until now, the advanced reasoning models were reserved only for paying users. But that's not all, because O3 Mini comes in three different variants, low, medium, and high, depending on how much computing power you need for your specific task. The special thing is that the model delivers absolutely top performance, especially in STEM areas, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Let's look at some concrete examples that really show how incredible this model is. Imagine you give O3 Mini the task of programming a computer game, in this case, the classic snake game. Not only does it create the code in seconds, no, it can also immediately implement an AI that plays the game autonomously and continuously improves through machine learning. This is really incredible because we're not talking here about simple if-then commands, but about a neural network that is optimized through reinforcement learning. What's particularly impressive is that O3 Mini not only creates the basic game code, but also immediately develops a complete training system for the AI. The system starts with random movements, but through continuous training and a sophisticated reward function, it learns quickly. After about 500 training episodes, the AI achieves impressive results and can play the game at a level far beyond what a simple algorithm could achieve. What's even more fascinating is the fact that O3 Mini has the ability to optimize its own code and suggest improvements when it detects weaknesses or optimization opportunities. For example, in our snake experiment, it independently recognized that the player's green color could lead to confusion with the green fruits and suggested adjusting the color scheme. This shows how advanced the system's analytical capabilities are, but what's really amazing is how fast O3 Mini works. While other models often need several minutes for such tasks, O3 Mini delivers the results in seconds and with a quality that significantly exceeds previous standards. In the benchmarks, O3 Mini even beats the previous flagship O1 in many areas. The results are particularly impressive in the coding area, where O3 Mini High achieves an ELO rating that eclipses all previous models. But the superior performance of the new model also shows in complex mathematical problems. While O1 achieves a success rate of about 5.5% in the world's most difficult mathematical problems, O3 Mini High achieves an impressive 9.2% on the first attempt and even 20% when allowed multiple attempts. This might not sound like much at first glance, but we're talking about tasks that represent a real challenge even for the best human mathematicians. A fascinating aspect is also the model's ability to answer complex scientific questions at PhD level. Here, O3 Mini achieves values that are only slightly below those of O1, which is remarkable considering it's the mini version. Particularly interesting is also the model's ability to work with Python libraries like PyTorch and use them for complex machine learning tasks. This shows that O3 Mini has a deep understanding of machine learning concepts and is capable of implementing them practically. Another exciting aspect is the model's ability to solve complex mathematical problems step by step and explain its approach in detail, making it a valuable tool for education and research. But let's come to one of the most exciting aspects, namely pricing, because here too OpenAI has chosen an aggressive strategy. The costs are about $1.10 per million input tokens and $4.40 per million output tokens, which is roughly comparable to DeepSeek's prices. This competitive pricing is a direct result of competition in the AI market and shows how much DeepSeek's success has put pressure on OpenAI. It's particularly interesting that OpenAI apparently brought forward the release of O3 Mini to respond to the growing competitive pressure, which of course benefits us as users. Another interesting point is the integration of web search directly into the model. You just have to activate the corresponding button and O3 Mini already combines its impressive reasoning capabilities with current information from the internet, which significantly expands the application possibilities once again. Particularly exciting is also the speed at which O3 Mini works. Tests have shown that it responds on average 24% faster than O1 Mini with an average response time of only 7.7 .7 seconds compared to 10.1 seconds for O1 Mini. This speed is particularly noticeable in complex programming tasks where other models often need several minutes for analysis and code generation. A particularly interesting detail, which got somewhat lost in the official announcements, concerns the safety classification because O3 Mini 
is the first model to achieve a medium risk classification in the model autonomy category, which means we're really moving at the boundary of what OpenAI considers safe enough for public access. This classification is based on various factors such as the model's ability to solve complex problems independently and make autonomous decisions. What's particularly interesting is the fact that O3 Mini is capable of recognizing potential safety risks in its own code and suggesting appropriate countermeasures. It's also interesting that O3 Mini sometimes performs worse in simple reasoning tasks than other models, showing that it's really specialized in technical and scientific tasks. This makes sense when you consider that this type of task has very well-defined right and wrong answers, which makes training through reinforcement learning much more effective. Particularly impressive is also the model's ability to analyze and optimize complex systems. For example, it can examine existing code bases, make improvement suggestions, and implement them immediately. Regarding the future, it's particularly exciting that O3 Mini seems to be just the beginning, because if the Mini version already delivers such performance, we can hardly imagine what the full O3 model will be capable of. It's also worth mentioning that O3 Mini has already been integrated into various development platforms, making programmers work even more efficient. Platforms like Cursor AI have already implemented the model and thus provide an even more productive development environment. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll even be notified when we upload a new video. I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.